You asked for the truth? Oh, yeah. I asked for it all right. When did you decide? Does it matter? Oh, not really. You know, nothing much has since the moment Liam stepped into that road. So what do you want to know? I don't want to know. I need to know now. So that you can give a full account to the police? Oh, no. I'm not expecting that opportunity. All I ever wanted was a future for us. I knew he was in the way when I saw you kissing him on Rosie's phone on our doorstep. That's when you made your mind up. When I kissed you that night, that was a real clincher. Clarified everything. Dispelled any romantic notions I might have had of winning you. Because I knew you weren't really there. And if you weren't, I certainly wasn't. Out of bed for eating biscuits, would you? No. Nah. Although she doesn't like the biscuit eating type. Pity, I love a macaroon come bedtime, me. Drives your mum up the wall. Enough! Don't worry about your nocturnal habits. I was only talking biscuits. Yeah, which turn into crumbs and then get into awkward places. I'm not going there where my mother's concerned. Anyway, macaroons a cake. Under normal circumstances, I'd bow to your. Obvious expertise, but I think you'll find a macaroon's a biscuit. Fiver. Done. It's all the days when we've sat in this office, then. In the flat or in the pub. You were calmly making preparations to kill him. I may have been calm on the surface. I am a businessman. Not a Bond villain. <laughs> this was never easy for me. Not then, not ever. Oh, come off it. You stood there at that altar knowing exactly what you'd done. You were totally cold-blooded. My blood was boiling. I gave you absolute unconditional love from day one and all I asked in return was some loyalty. And what I got was betrayal in glorious Technicolor. I was blissfully unaware, planning our wedding. Our wedding, Carla. And you, you left his bed to argue the toss of the cake and canopies, and you call me cold-blooded! You can't possibly compare Can't that? I? You remember how you felt when Liam's carcass was lifted into the ambulance? Do you remember that? The rawness of it. Well, that's just a hint of how I felt for months. This is nothing like the same. You were being cheated on! Your lovely bleeding! Well, so did mine! Because grief is grief. The only difference is I didn't have to mourn. I could do something about mine. Quite clearly a biscuit. Mm, I wouldn't like to commit. Yeah, well, what's your inclination? That's what I've often wondered. <laughs> if your life depended on it. I find it hard to envisage circumstances when my entire existence hinged on the correct classification of a coconut macaroon. Why are you talking macaroon? Well, it, it, it just came up. Where is he? We're going to be late. Where are you off to? A singles night in town. Don't tell Steve. It's a surprise. Are you sure that that's a good idea? Oh, come on, babe. It's exactly what he needs. Chance to get back in the saddle. Maybe my pride was hurt. Maybe I wanted to win, because that's what I'm like. You do know an over-competitive streak is no justification for murder, don't you? Yeah. You see, I watched Liam die. I held him in my arms. Absolutely no justification for that. I know that better than anyone. Why then? Because it was a necessary evil. And given 
the chance I would do the same again without pause. Don't look so shocked. You think I got where I am by accident? I started with nothing, and the world would have left me there if I let it. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? Everything. Everything I have, I had to work for. Every single day of my life. And yeah, sometimes that meant fighting dirty. So here you are. The working class boy made bad. By circumstance. By you. Oh, no. No, you're a self-made murderer. You underestimate yourself, Carla. You were the most precious thing in the world to me. The ultimate prize. You think I was going to let him come and take you away from me? Oh, now you see. That's why you made your mistake. You might have thought you were in control of everything, pulling all the strings. You were wrong. Big time. Because you wanted to be with him. Oh, more than anything in the world, yeah. He begged me to run away with him the day he died. For a while, I thought I would. Why not, eh? That's what my heart was screaming out of me to do. You didn't get the chance. Oh, I did. I did. But I turned him down, Tony. <sighs> I said I was going to marry you when he should go back to Maria. But you get cold feet. You'd have went with him eventually. As long as he was there, the threat... No, he was done with. He was done with. Because once he'd have found out Maria was pregnant again, meaning it would have been a beautiful memory. Nothing more. So you see, Tony, you killed him for nothing. <laughs> Are you seriously saying you chose me over him? <laughs> no. I felt something for you. Always did. But I love Liam more than life. I let him go for his sake. You think of you always. And anyone that gets close to you pays the price. Paul, Liam, now me. You've destroyed us all. If it makes you feel better to think that. We could have been happy. You could have grown to love me like him. And Liam could have been happy with Maria and his baby, but you wouldn't leave it alone. This happened because of you. You had to stake your claim. And when you'd done just enough to prove you were the better woman, you backed off. Because you'd won the game. This is pointless. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't walk out today, because we're not done, not by a long way. See? I told you the place had been done up. By you, you? So much for water wall crumpets. It's more like an audition for Dawn of the Dead. Ah, some of them are all right. You're having a laugh. See, nice mummy's in better, Nick. It's the lighting in here. The only problem with the lights is that they're on. Right, where's the band? I'm going to request Monster Mash. Ah. Well, when I said it was music night, I wasn't being totally... It's singles night, all right? I knew you were up to something. Right, I'm going... Oh, come on! You've got to get Becky out of your mind. Do you good to chat to a bird. But... Pterodactyl more like. They're not that bad. Yes, they are. What kind of a sad, desperate excuse for a bloke comes to a place like... Oh. 
No, please tell me it hasn't come to this. Oh, come on. I'll get him in. All right, Bill. The consistency's definitely cake-like. So you're in the cake camp? I didn't know there were camps. Well, your girlfriend will know. Oh. Tell me, are macaroons cakes or biscuits? Well, there's an interesting legal battle concerning the status of Jaffa cakes. Um, biscuits are subject to fat, while cakes aren't. Well, you learn something new every day. Anyway, the courts ruled cakes go hard when they're stale, while biscuits go soft. The High Courts of British Justice wasted the time on nonsense like that. So do macaroons go hard or soft, love? I couldn't say. Oh, well, never mind. What, what, what are you drinking? I'll have a Duboni with a dash of bitter lemon as we're celebrating. Celebrating? Mm. I hide out the motorhome and this is your share of the proceeds. Oh, very <laughs> tidy. Same again here, Lord. Yes, I should think so. Yes, indeed. Look, uh, uh, drinks all round, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm on a stool. Uh, Liz! Dip his toe back in the wall. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, uh, ripping out fireplaces, you know, it's dusty work. So, any man driving back saw this place. Popped in for the pint. Usually got buildings in a suit, do you? Uh, well, yeah, I uh, had to uh, stop in at the bank to talk to the manager. Uh, warm, was it? Hey. Hey, I thought my man was spoken for. What would your mum say if she knew he was in it? She does. They think I should go out and meet women again. He's riding shotgun, and I wish I had one because I'd turn it on myself. Alrighty then, she is primed, ready. So, what happens next? I shouldn't have blamed you for Liam's death. I mean, you pushed me to it, but you couldn't have known that. You couldn't know the lengths I'd go to. I'm not proud of what I did. But the punishment was way too hard. I know. I destroyed you just as surely as you destroyed me. Oh, I curse the day we met. No. Never. I should. B.C. before Carla. I was content, confident, happy. Now here I am. Insecure and paranoid. But, you know, if that's the only way we could be together, I'd take it, because it was worth it. You can't be serious. You, you took away the only thing that ever mattered to me. It was him or me. Without you, Carla, I'm finished. If we're prepared and we could heal together, have a future. In her hands. How about you, love? How are you going to spend your money? I'm taking Mother on a cruise. Caribbean? The Med? Beauties of the Baltic, it's called. I looked at Norway, but I thought fun on the fjords might be a bit hectic for Mother. Well, it, it'll be good for you to spend some quality time together. I suppose. Have you thought of any holiday at all? Oh, I haven't time. I can manage if you want to get away. Oh, I. I reckon he'd enjoy a bit of cruising. Well, well no, I, I happen I, I get bored on my own. Well, actually, the space aboard our cruise... Oh, oh no, 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 thank you, Mary, but the, these cruises, are, they're all shuffleboard and show tunes. It, it's not me at all. Oh, you surprised me. Well, I, I best get back to Mother anyway. I'll look in before we sail. Right. Bye, then. Bye, bon voyage, Bye. love. What? Yeah, I'm a disaster when it comes to relationships. Becky was the best thing that ever happened to me. Young, good-looking, great company. Everything this crowd isn't. Oh, uh, not that I include you, because you're obviously... <clears throat> Do you reckon a coconut macaroon is a biscuit or a cake? It's 
Still got the old magic, then. That's all to her dinner. Anyway, she's not interested. She's on the phone now. What do you reckon? Jackson, I'm a Samaritan. <laughs> I didn't see you beating him off with a stick. I'm playing the waiting game. The later it gets, the greater my options become. Right now, I'm like a tiger in the long grass, sussing out the herd. <laughs> reckon tigers eat mutton. Hey, I'll wait till one of them gets separated, and then I'll strike. Bringing her down would be witty repartee. <laughs> Alternatively, I'll have a skinful and get pine peas on the way home. <laughs> what are you doing here? I just thought I'd see how you're getting on. I didn't know you were coming, Bill. Uh, well, I bumped into the lads on the street and just tagged along. Oh, all right. Hey, any joy? I'm not talking to you. He's not pulled, Ben. Uh, crashed in bed. I didn't even take her. You can say that again. What about you? Well, me? Oh, yeah, I've got myself a right little cracker. Oh, yeah? Yeah, blonde, beautiful. She's even got her own pub. Trouble is, I'm starting to think that she doesn't trust me. In fact, if I had a rabbit, I might be worried for it. I shall leave you both to your domestic. I'm off. No, hold on a sec. Eddie Windass dropped me off. And as it turns out, he's a bit of a baker. And he has answered the macaroon question. Oh, yeah. Mm. Cakes rise, biscuits don't, and coconut macaroons don't. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> I'm thanking you. <laughs> Liam's buried. Everything connected with him, I'm in the clear. We could wipe the slate clean. Wipe the slate clean? You're a murderer. I did it for you. I did it because I love you. In your own sick, twisted way, I think you do. And yeah. I did play a part in it. I put my needs above yours. No, don't punish yourself. I'll be punishing myself for the rest of my days. <laughs> Not that I expect there to be many. After all, you can't let me go, can you? No. But if you think I'd kill you just to save my own skin, just to silence you, then you've understood nothing. Some things are past understanding. Everything I'd done for you, I became someone I could barely live with because I thought it was the only way I could live with you. I did it for you. All of it was for you. But you want me to be flattered? I want you to forgive me. I'll come with you right now to the police station and confess everything in triplicate. Are you serious? Never more. If you'll just stand by me, be waiting for me at the end of all this. You know I can't do that. It's over. This is it then. I'm a killer. I killed Liam, but you killed me in every other way that matters. So complete the formalities, go on. Finish what you started. This last act of kindness, come on. You mean it, don't you? Pardon, I need to speak to you. It's Vicky. Ignore her. We can't, the lights are on. Don't let her in. I'm coming, love! Mrs. Gordon! Tony's just getting the keys. What is it? I was going to leave this letter, but I, I saw your car. I have to return to work soon, but... My, my mother has pneumonia. Oh, she won't be the only one, will she, if you stay out there? Oh, I, I have to hurry. I have a coach to catch. Oh, do let us detain you. But uh, I don't know when I'll return. Just go. We'll keep your job open for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Gordon. in 
Nej. Jeg er et nummer, det er på vandet. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry.